quiet hours. Thanks, guys. Hi. Do you want to get high and watch Adventure Time? No, I have a headache. You should check on Hillary. She wasn't looking good tonight. Okay. Yeah, no, it's fine. Figure you're busy. All right. Oh my god. Jillian! 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 Oh my god. I need an ambulance. Down fast to 118, never kiss your sweeter with some nicotine. The little white lightning underneath my seat, oh yeah. The sun's going down like a sinking stone. A dog's barking in the distance, I'ma throw him a bone. You got that look on your face like something's gonna go wrong, oh yeah. The way you're looking so good in that car in dress, there's just no telling. So it should be fun Stay away from my trigger I'm a loaded gun Stay away from my trigger I'm a loaded gun Stay away from my trigger I'm a loaded gun You should change She looks, she looks so tiny like When I was holding her When I was carrying her over to the ambulance She looks she's so tiny You should really go home and change And take a shower How can you be so lucky and, you know, look, be like that and still alive? Duncan, seriously. I'll, I'll, I'll shower here. I'll be here. No! No! I'll be here too. You be here, I'll be here. It's fine. We are a goddamn team. How could this have happened? Jillian's stuff, she'll be okay. The administration called an emergency senate meeting. She's the second victim in three weeks. We have to figure out who's doing this. I'm gonna be in boardrooms all day, but text me. Let me know how she's doing, like when she wakes up and everything. Nick brought by some clothes. Clearly. Meeting number 37 of school year 2015. Spring semester has now come to order. I have called this emergency senate meeting due to the now multiple attacks on campus. Due to a drug known as Rufalin, two female students have been attacked. The agenda for this meeting is to discuss two items. Item A, which is stricter party enforcement, and item B, earlier curfew and subsequent more officers patrolling around campus after 2 a.m. during the week. Senator Smith. I work at the Praise His Light Foundation, and our meetings are from 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. We find that that's the purest time to pray. All right. So this weekday curfew isn't going to work for us. Also, the girl who was roofied brought this problem upon herself. I saw her at the gala, and her dress was too short, her heels were too high, and her clavicle was exposed. Please make your point quickly, Senator Smith. These girls were asking for it. Sometimes it gets cold. Your roommate said that you were I'm here. After you Why are you here? So yeah, I didn't exactly wake up to tea in biscuits. Where to 
Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I know Suzanne lives here. Why are you here? There was another on campus attack last night. My friend Jillian was involved, and um, uh, there's blood everywhere. And I, had to call, I called the cops. Oh my god, Duncan, I'm so sorry. Is she okay? She's resting now, but um, uh, I, Suzanne, for Susanna, she's out in an errand, so I'm taking care of her for the moment. Well, is there anything that I can do? I mean, I can make soup or something. It's really nice of you. It's really nice of you, but I don't think she wants other people around right now. She's probably really embarrassed. Oh, I didn't know that you guys were that close. We've been friends since we were freshmen. She's my ex-girlfriend from freshman year. But it, it was a long time ago. I wasn't serious. We only dated for like a semester. It's fine. Well, why did you break up? I told her that I wasn't ready for a relationship. But not yet, until I met you. Okay, okay. Just um, text me in the mo uh, text me later, and we'll get dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, just, yeah. I hope that she's okay. Yeah. Good night, Bradshaw. Susanna speaking. Thank you, Officer Handler. I really appreciate it. Hi, Michaela, it's Susanna. Would you be able to meet with me right now? Great, sounds perfect. Holy shit. Senator Richards. Senator Smith, let me ask you a personal question. Do you know any of these women personally? No. So what makes you say that she was asking for it? Their outfits for one thing. Not to mention the wandering alone at night. Especially the latest victim who knew about the previous attack and still wandered around. Women need a strong, capable male to walk with us and keep us safe. Well. I know Jillian Walsh personally. She is a very strong and capable woman that was attacked and she was not asking for it. I demand that we up the security on this campus 24 hours a day, which would avoid any unnecessary curfew restrictions. We just need a bigger police force. You're wrong. I will not stand by and let people be attacked for walking alone at night. We have rights. I also don't want to have annoying police that don't like parties bossing us around. What amendments do you propose then? The same curfew and same party rules, but with more standby police officers. Any other amendments proposed? Senator Smith? I think until we find the culprit, we outlaw any social gatherings that are not affiliated with the club. Hi, Susanna. Hey, Michaela, thanks for meeting with me. Yeah, sure. What's up? You were at the gala last night, right? Yeah, it was, it was really fun. There were so many jalapenos. <laughs> politicians. There was, there was a lot of politicians. Right. Um, did you feel sick at all last night? Uh, just from the jalapenos. In your head. Well, my sinuses were all clear from the jalapenos. Jalapenos, right, you love them. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, I was fine. Is everything okay? This is a weird conversation. I'm just writing a story for the news. About illness? About the fragile clinic. That would explain why so few people were there. Exactly. Everything's gone wrong. I'm getting everyone. Ugh. Gosh darn you, Mother Winter. Here we are. Yesterday. Hey, Susanna, I heard about your friend Jillian. That's terrible. Jillian? Yeah, uh, Duncan introduced me and her at the gala. Is there anything that I can do? You can start by telling me what happened when you got sick last night. Well, I mean, I didn't throw up or anything. I just had a migraine. Actually, I don't remember much past meeting Jillian, but I know Duncan walked me home. That was sweet of him. Yeah. I really like him. But I promise to remain professional in the newsroom. Not really worried about that. All right. Thank you, though. Are you? Oh, God, you can tell. Our 
that's really embarrassing. No, I'm just asking for the story. Well, yeah, I'm a little hungover. But I didn't even drink. I think someone must have spiked the punch. It's probably Clark. He's pretty shifty. Yeah, I didn't really feel sick last night at all. So you don't think you caught the plague there, then? No. I have an incredibly tolerant immune system. It's a gift, really. You know, a gift from the Nordic gods passed down through at least three generations of inbreeding. A lot of drugs will do that to you. Yeah. You've been a great help, Clark. Thank you. <laughs> What's wrong, baby? Very long day. What's Jillian doing? Um, last Duncan texted she's been sleeping all day, which the doctor said was normal. So that's good. Are you hungover? A little bit. I only had like two glasses of champagne last night, right? You don't remember? Not exactly. How did the Senate meeting go? Uh, it was a compromise. More on-campus police presence. I was so livid. Daisy Smith was throwing stones, saying that the victims were asking for it. Someone purposely attacked Jillian, okay? Well, it, it may have been random. It wasn't random. I really don't want to talk about it right now. I just want to feel different because I'm so exhausted from being pissed off. Sometimes I get cold After years of waiting it gets old Where do I go? When I the last one is all I ever know Thanks for so much I didn't drink any last night because one time in fifth grade I went to a party and drank all of it and threw up, which is why I hate the color red. But anyway, everyone else had the punch. So Michaela, Hillary, Nick, Jillian, they all had the punch and they all have similar symptoms. There's a whole meaning of the term, don't drink the Kool-Aid. Yeah, but it doesn't explain why she's the only one that got hurt, right? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out who did it, and I love Nick, and I'm scared. Yeah. yeah. Good evening, I'm Susanna Quincy. Due to the devastating acts of violence on campus in recent weeks, our regular news anchors, Duncan Ripley and Hillary Mars, have requested the night off. Bradshaw Campus Police have started their 24-hour shifts this evening. We urge anyone who sees anything suspicious to report as soon as possible. If you have any information, please contact our student government tip line. We here at Goodnight Bradshaw will not rest until the culprit has been found. And trust me, you will be found. What did you do?